Hello guys, so you asked um, for a day in the life of slash day at the yard video so I thought what better one to do than how I fit working night shifts around owning horses. So it is half eight in the morning and I've just come off a 12 hour night shift, which is why I look like I've been electrocuted. Um, it's not the most exciting day in the world, but it, it's, you know, it's a difficult one. Um, it pretty much consists of going home and doing the smallest amount of chores possible. So Peaches is in, uh, Jim's out, Storm's out, ponies are obviously out. So I chuck peaches a bunch of haylage to last the morning and then yeah I'll muck out and everything later on. Today's a little bit different. Uh, it's actually been six weeks yesterday Storm was castrated which means officially he's allowed to be turned out with mares. I know there's a lot of debate saying it's like up to eight weeks, two months, whatever it is, but every single pony we've had castrated has gone out after five to six weeks. So Storm has been introduced to the Queen, Little Peach. Oh, which is gonna be entertaining. Uh, I need to hack Peaches just down the road just to get her taken over a little bit, start our working out regime. And then I'll be introducing them both to each other. They will be turned out in the field that Jim is in at the moment, uh, just for a couple of days, mainly because one, I'm working nights again on Friday, and two, I don't want them to die uh, in the mountain, running after each other. So yes, that is the main agenda for today, is turn Peaches out with Storm and Jim. Um, I'll obviously take you guys along on all the little chores and best switch my wipers off and uh, everything else that we do in between. I am, however, gonna go home, I'm gonna make myself a nice cup of tea, throw my pony some haylage, throw her some water, maybe a little bit of pony cubes, and I'm gonna go to bed for a few hours. So I will catch up with you guys later on in the day when more of the exciting stuff happens. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm sorry, I look, one, I look like a mess. Uh, and two, that it's a little bit of a different one. Um, I don't know, I thought it was different. I don't see many, many equestrians out there doing night shifts. So I thought it'd be nice for those of you who do to see how other people plan their routine around it. And also for people who don't do it or people who are even considering doing it, you can kind of see how it works. I do find it easier than working days. Um, especially in winter because you, you can actually be with the ponies in daylight, not night time, all the time. Um, so yes, I'll take you along with me on this wonderful Welsh day. It's pouring it down, but it does forecast better weather this afternoon. So fingers crossed by the time I get out of bed, we'll have a little bit less rain to deal with. So see you guys later on. Good morning. Good morning. And you, yeah, good morning. Good morning. Oh, hello. Hello, Billy. Hi. Why do we choose to have horses in winter? So, whilst I have couple hours of sleep. Peach is in her pyjamas with a nice pile of Silvermore haylage. I think that's what it is, the light one. Because she's a fat so And a grumpy one at that. So I'll catch up with you guys later after I've had a little bit of a sleep. And Peach has had some food in her belly. Um, we'll give her a nice groom before we send her out to live in the rain for a few days. So you catch up with you guys later. As 
so it's now, well, I don't know, two o'clock. We have a very eager beaver to go out today. <laughs> so I have had a few hours of sleep, I tend to go to bed between about nine o'clock and one o'clock. I did have a little bit of a lie until half one today. And now the fun begins. Um, I need to muck out the stable, clean the feed bin, oh, the feed bin, the feed bucket and the water bucket, and take the pony out. Um, to be fair, it's quite a boring day. Um, I try and keep doing anything after a night shift to the bare minimum. Well, the treat's nice. But yeah, things have got to be done, especially when they're in. So I'm going to um, muck out the stable first. I'll then change Peter's rug over from her pyjamas, her lovely um, stable rug, to her turnout rug. Um, and then we'll take her out and uh, uh, I'll probably record her meeting with Storm, eh, Pete? You're gonna have a shock of your life when you meet Storm. So yeah. Oh goody. She's just the grumpiest little thing ever. But we love you, Peach. So yes, I'm gonna crack on. Um, I try and include as many videos of what I'm doing as possible. Hold on. Uh, but yeah, Let's see how it goes. We're not doing too bad. Peaches in her new head collar, which is about 10 sizes too big, and her new turnout rug, new second hand turnout rug. Um, stable. Basically, because there's no horses coming into it for a while, I've just left the straw in the corner, the ones that's usable again to enter the sheep or the cattle or the horse that's coming in next. Um, and I just need to sweep out where the haylage has been. Something I've just used on peaches, basically this is my pre-winter turnout routine now. So obviously, happy pony, waterproof rug, she looks really skinny, and my favourite new product. Um, it's basically just an antibacterial, an antifungal, and it goes on the bottom of the feet, stopping icky things like thrush from affecting them this winter. Peaches does have trouble with her feet. No, I'm not doing foot up, you greedy girl. Foot up, foot up. Oh, good girl, foot up. 
Oh, good girl. Okay. Switching on the treat. So she better have. Look at that face. Look at that face. So, yes, Peaches has come down ready for the winter of some work. I know she's only 12 hands. You'll have just seen me measuring her actually um, because she's actually grown, which is weird. Um, but I think it's all fat on the shoulders. So, yes, Peaches is 12 hands. She's a Welsh Mountain Pony. She was actually my first ridden pony. And just with Jim having been injured, I kind of wanted a pony I could just hack out and do the fun things on. Um, I've got a few beach rides planned. Um, me and a friend are good at the forestry hacking. And Jim just isn't up to it at the moment. Peaches is a lot fitter, even though she's a bit older. Hey, cheeky. Um, and yeah, it's just nice for her to be down. She hasn't been down for two years. She's had a little bit of an early retirement. We retired her from the show ring in 2017. And since then, she's basically just had her time out in the field, which has been really nice for her. Wow. But uh, I've missed her. She's, oh, she's the first pony. You can't beat them, can you? Um, oh gosh, I'm going to muck. So... She's literally ready to go out. She's been in since Saturday. Um, it's now Wednesday, so I think she's overdue a day out. So I'm gonna take her over to Jim and Shetland and uh, see how it goes. I might end up bringing them back in to separate them again, knowing my luck, but I hope, fingers crossed, it'll go all right. And then once they're out and they're settled, I'll come back, I'll keep all the rugs and the bits and bobs that I've got around the place. Sort the haylage out because that's all I've got left. And uh, clean the buckets after I take the grumpy pony out. So wish me luck and I will check in with you guys when I'm in the field with hopefully three very well behaved ponies. <sighs> Probably not. So, check in so with I you don't guys. actually know how well you'll be able to hear this. Um, but Jim and Storm have spotted Peaches. They clocked her. Oh, she's got sore feet, bless her. She's not quite clocked onto what, what's going on. Um, this might be fun. They might be at the gate before we do. So I'm not gonna vlog for a little bit so I can sneak up on them uh, and get to the gate without them seeing me so that I can let go of the pony without being trampled. How am I going to get you in there, Peach? Is the question. Hello, Frank. Oh, Jim, you look terrified. Oh, which one's the grumpy mare? My best mate is staying with me as they do their thing. She's most definitely the boss, isn't she, Jim? Look at him, look. Oh. Jim, update whilst we're here. He's coming back into work. It's also been six weeks for him. So he's coming back into work. Am I? He said I don't want to. We're going for a hack. On Sunday, hopefully, maybe Monday, depending on weather dependent. You're really greedy, do you know that? Are you hungry? I'll bring you some haylage over later. Bless them. They're uh, relatively calm, aren't they, Jim? No running yet. Go away. Okay, you can with me, are you? My friend doesn't care who's here, he lives with me. Beyond cute. You're beyond cute, Jim. You're not bothered about naughty horses, are you? Oh. Jim, get off. Jim. Stormy, who's that? Jim, you really starting to get on my nerves. Who's that, Stormy? Hello, short stuff. Would you like a treat of being a good boy and not jumping on peaches? Yes, thank you. Oh, he's not keen on her. Are you not keen on her? No, no, I'm not, mum. 
I'm really not. Oh, don't kill me. <laughs> I cramped. <laughs> Beach. Oh, I feel bad leaving that one. So, might be a bit windy. Look at him stalking. Might be a bit windy. I might turn this way. Um, no, not you. So, Storm had his first peaches encounter. Oh, they're coming back. Don't you dare run me over. Thank you. And he's most definitely never been in a field with a bear. He hasn't quite understood. <laughs> you are so cute. He hasn't quite understood that Peaches is the boss. Me and the uh, eldest female. Stop it, Jen. He just thinks it's a new playmate. Little does he know. Peaches don't play. Don't you dare. Um, I'll head home, make the feeder, calm them down a little bit, and then check in with you guys later. Bye, Jim. Oh, can you tell I starve my ponies? I do. Oh, you do, Mum. You need a clean rug on. Because you wet, Jim. They made friends. Peaches, I mean it. That is yours. Eat your own. Poor Jim must have stood by the gate after I left. Just calling out. So I thought he hasn't been fed yesterday. So I decided to bring them a little bucket of feed. I've got a little bit of haylage left over. So they could have a little bit of refuge tonight, I think. Can you don't care? It's pretty much my day done and dusted then. So, ponies are out happy together. I think it's on the floor, Jim. Ponies are all out happy together, which I'm happy. Um, I'm not changing Jim's rug today. I don't see the point. It's just going to forecast more rain overnight. I'm going to give him a dry rug to put another one on him again tomorrow. Peaches and Storm, getting on really well. Um, Storm's not stallionish at all. Uh, he's finding it a little bit weird having someone else in charge, not him. He's normally the one bullying Jim around. Not features bullying him around. So I'll do him some good. And I'm quite happy to say that he will be going to the pony herd on either Sunday or Monday, weather dependent. Um, so that is a bonus. Hide it from the wind. Um, and yes, I'll have my two riding ponies. And I'll have some more... Riding videos up for you guys. Oh my gosh. I have never seen Peter share a bucket. Peach, do you like him? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's it for my vlog. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope if anyone out there is like me and they work crazy ridiculous hours and they feel like they never see the ponies, how do you work it around? If anyone out there's just recently taken a night's job, what the heck are you thinking? Um but yeah, it's sometimes it's nice to see how other people go along with their day. I know I like seeing other people's days. Um, so yeah, I hope this keeps you a little bit happy for a little bit uh, whilst they gather some clips of me and the hairy cob and me and the, well, hairy pony. Both are being clipped next week. So that'll be exciting. I need to find my cutter blades. And we, uh, me and Jim have got an arena hire yeah let's do some jumping which i hope you like so guys for now from me it is goodbye i hope you enjoyed i hope you have had a lovely november whether it's in lockdown or not and i hope you guys look forward to christmas i know i am i'm already wearing my christmas socks yeah falling over doing that I'm already wearing my Christmas socks. I've already found the tin stuff. Don't you dare. You're not having gems. Now we're in a war. No storm. We're in a war. So I'm going to head off. Yes. Enjoy your week, guys. And I will see you soon. Bye, guys. No, bugger. <laughs> Bye.